Someone asked the question, why did Christians not accept Muhammad? Because Muhammad's words contradict the New Testament writings. And he is not acceptable according to New Testament as a prophet of God, but is seen as a false prophet. For example, in the Bible, Jesus is said to have died on the cross. Muhammad said he did not. We see in John chapter 19, verse 16 to 18. Then he delivered him to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha where they crucified him and two others with him one on either side and jesus in the center <clears throat> in the quran it states surah 4 157 and for their saying we have killed the messiah jesus the son of mary the messenger of god in fact they did not kill him nor did they crucify him but he appeared to them as if they did Indeed, those who differ about him are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following assumption. Certainly, they did not kill him. In the Bible, Jesus is God. Muhammad said he is not. We read John 1, verses 1 to 3 and 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. <clears throat> and verse 14, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In the Quran, it states, Surah 5, 116, And God will say, O oh, Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as gods rather than God? He will say, Glory be to you. It is not for me to say what I have no right to. to. Had I said it, you would have known it. You know what is in my soul, and I do not know what is in your soul. You are the knower of the hidden in the New Testament, it says Jesus is the Son of God, yet Muhammad said, Allah has no son. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But in the Quran, chapter 17, verse 111 says, And say, Praise be to God who has not begotten a son, nor has he a partner in sovereignty, nor has he an ally of weakness, and glorify him constantly. Quran again in Surah 37, 152 says, God has begotten, they are indeed lying. The New Testament states, The gospel is the fact that Jesus died for the sins of those who believe in him and resurrected from the dead. Yet Muhammad said, the gospel is that I am supposed to come. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received, and which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I deliver to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. When the Quran is states, Quran Surah 7, 157, those who followed the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in the Torah and in the gospel, in their possession he directs them to righteousness and deters them from evil and allows for them all good things and prohibit for them wickedness and uploads the burdens 
and the shackles that are upon them. Those who believe in him and respect him and support him and follow the light that came down with him, these are the successful. It's funny <coughs> that the Quran calls him the unlettered prophet, but yet in the Hadith, it says that he did read. So, that's kind of weird, ain't it? Then the New Testament states about other Jesus, which is not the real Jesus. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 4 says, For if he who comes preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you received a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. Now, I don't blame the Christians for not accepting a false prophet who went against everything they believe, which Jesus warned us about. Matthew 24, 11, Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many, which Paul gave us warnings about as well, and stated angels will come preaching another gospel, which in the story of Muhammad, we find that very thing happened. An angel named Gabriel said to him the what he believes. In Galatians 1, it says, verses 8 to 9, it says, But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you, then that we have preached to you let him be a curse as we have said before so now i say again if anyone preaches another gospel to you then what you have received let him be a curse ain't it kind of weird that all these false religions and false and those cults they all have an angel that came to them jehovah witnesses judge what rutherford claim an angel gave him visions Mormon, Joseph Smith, claimed an angel came to him. So did Muhammad claim an angel came to him. Be careful. There are lots of false spirits out there. And if you're not grounded in the truth, you'll fall into the ditch of lies. God bless you, and I'll see you next program of Gain to Know Jesus. Bye.